Today I want to show you how to create simple Android style notifications in WPF. Um, so I created a blank project. Let me just uh, prep the design surface a little bit. So first off I'm going to change this uh, window name to login. I'm going to pretend it's a login screen. I'm going to change the width of the window to 300 and uh, let's expand our text area okay and add some rows to it so grid that rows row definitions let's add I think five Five rows should be enough. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so we've got five rows. Let me collapse this. And um, I'm going to add a text box. Not block, text box. I'm going to give it a name. I'll call this T1. Um, I'm going to give it the font size of 40. I'm going to give it a margin of 20 from sides and 10 from top and bottom. And I'm going to change the border thickness. to zero, 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 2 so only uh, I want the border to show up on the bottom not the size on top okay let me test this out okay great uh, one more thing I want the text to be in the center we break this line into two pieces. So text alignment. And I want this to be center. And let's try it again. Okay, great. So our text box is ready. Next, I'm going to add a button. I'm going to name this B1. Okay, I'm going to give it a font size again, 40. Give it a margin, 2010. And get a content of login. And this, I need to give it a row. So create that row, it's going to be one. Close it out. Okay, so the button, and now actually I'm on the uh, row two, the third row. Okay, so the button is ready and the text box is ready. Next, I'm going to add a border. This border is going to go into the last row. So create that row. It's going to be three. Four actually. I want to get a background of black. Mm, get a margin of same margins, 2010 margin. And um, gonna get a corner radius of 35. Let's check out. Great. That looks good. You just run this, make sure it compiles. Okay, text box. 
button and the border. All right. So we have our border ready. Now we are going to add a style. So we're going to say border.style. Okay, style, open close style tag. And we need to set the target type. It's going to be X column type border. Inside our style, we're going to add triggers, style.triggers. All right. Here we're going to use data triggers. Actually, no, we're going to use multi data triggers. Multi data trigger. So, multi data trigger. Okay. So, multi data triggers um, has something called conditions. So that means we can base our trigger on multiple conditions. So in this case, I want to have a value in here and the button to be clicked for this to work, for this to show up, for the border to show up, okay? So I want to say um, condition, first condition, it's going to be binding. I want to bind this to text box. That's why we gave it a name, element name, T1, and the path is going to be the text. So, what I wanted to do is when this has a value of hello world, and next condition, I want to bind to the button, binding element name, B1, and the property is, actually the path is, is pressed when the button is pressed, value is, this value is true, so when these two conditions are true, text box has a value of hello world and the button is pressed then I'm going to add a storyboard right after the multi-trigger conditions I'm going to start saying uh, multi data trigger multi data trigger that enter actions Okay, inside enter actions, we're going to begin our storyboard and add our storyboard. And in my case, I want to add a double animation. I'm going to say storyboard target property is opacity. Um, let me actually bring this down so we can see it. Duration is going to be 0, 002 seconds. I want to go from 1 to 0. Okay. So Let's build this and run it, see what happens. Click. Perfect. Couple of things. 
want to adjust. I want to start this window at the center of the screen. That takes care of that. Next. I'm going to add a text block here inside the border, All right here. I'm going to add a text block. I want the font size to be 14. Mm. Let's try this actually for. Uh, the foreground, the text color, I want to be white. And I want to do a run text. The reason I'm doing this is because I want to display what's typed in here along with welcome. After welcome, I want to give it a line break. And the next text, next sentence, I want to be displaying the uh, hello world that's entered into the text block, text box. So this is going to be binding, element name, text box, pad is text. Right, uh, it's all the way up here, so that's going to center the text. So text alignment is going to be center. Okay, yeah, I should get a margin too. Or padding. Let's try this. Let's see how it looks. Excellent. Not bad. Okay. Um, one last thing I want to do is make this totally um, opacity to set to zero to start with. So at the beginning, it won't uh, appear when we start the application. Let's try it now. Beautiful. Well, there you have it. Thanks for tuning in. Have a nice day.